lying as the king of the jungle. You ain't know that. You ain't know that. Boy, you got lots of money. Podcast NWA. NWA. Knee guys. Knee guys. What's going on, fellas? Chilling. How you doing? Chilling. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I go by the name Migo. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Migo underscore the underscore kid with two D's. You can't miss me. Can't miss you. Me. No Twitter. Uh, big underscore Migo. <laughs> yes, sir. That's your boy. Big Migo. Yes, sir. How you go, big on big? <laughs> All right, so if I'm next, then this is Mr. Original. Mr. Original. You know what I'm saying? Original. Mr. Original. You know what I'm saying? Sir. That's MR on Instagram. MR period original with a J and not a G. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah, get it MR right. MR with a period. Get it right. Original with a J and not a G. There it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm Mr. No Social Media for right now. I'm coming though. I'm coming. I'm gonna I'm 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 be there. <laughs> no idea, Tim. <laughs> right. uh, I'm we'll on Facebook. Right. Okay. Um, hello. But uh, you can't find me right now because everything locked down. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's, that's I promise best. you, by next episode, I'm gonna have all of it. I'm gonna have a Twitter, a TikTok. I'm gonna have an IG, TikTok. a YouTube. I'm gonna have all that shit. Y'all watch. <laughs> mm-hmm. TikTok. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Tim TikTok. Dance, man. It's, it's Mr. Everything. Mr. Everything, man, right here. Um, that's what the IG handle gonna be. I, I'm pretty sure. Yes, um, sir. But check check us out. We are here for our second episode. Absolutely. What's been going on this week, though, fellas? How's everything? How's life? Beautiful. 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 Life is beautiful, man. And you know one thing, bro? I got to get back in this gym. You got to. <laughs> you got to. I see you out there struggling, bro. You be out there hey, with it. You be nah, with it. It's my lungs, dude. It's my lungs. <laughs> well, look what you're doing right now. I mean, bro, what? <laughs> right. I can't help myself, though, brother. I can't help myself. God put this on here for, you know. You know what? This is my medicine. I tell people all the time, this is medicine. Just like you take your whatever you take, this is what I take. Man, I'm going to tell you, life of a new dad is crazy, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> crazy, man. I know you got some stories. Man, it's just, How I'm having you? these moments, man. She just turned 11 months. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She about to be a whole year old, bro. Wow, that first year is amazing, man. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you, dog. Like, you know me. You know me, Miss. I'm all philosophical and deep and shit. Of course. But, um... But yeah, man, it's, it's it's just cool, man, being a being a father, you know what I'm saying? And uh knowing that like, um, you know, you literally shaping somebody's future sure. right now. You feel yes, what I'm saying? Yes. You gotta get them early, bro. It's so important. I'm trying man. to tell you. It's so you important. Know, if you don't do it early, bro, it's, it's many people don't realize destruction down the long path. See, right, y'all right. already y- y'all already experienced, man. This is new for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> yeah, but let me tell you something, bro. What's there, up? There is no guideline or rule book to how to raise a kid, bro. That's true. None. That's true. And it's brother. specific to your atmosphere, your well, how you raise them. It's, it's specific to that, man. What you, know? you do around your house is what they're going to know, what they're going to experience on a, on a daily basis. Now, they're going to get some, some influence from the outside with their friends and all yeah. that stuff, other family members. But for the most part... Um, from zero to seven, bro. From zero to seven, your influence on your on your baby's life is gonna be what molds her, what shapes her into the woman that she's gonna be. Of course, you and your woman. That's crazy, bro. Like zero to seven. Speaking on that, like when it comes down to that, I'm I'm real big on education. Even though I'm the country boy, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? I'm huge on education, <laughs> and education doesn't necessarily even have to be like school but i'm talking about like experiences so what y'all feel about like how what y'all's take on parenting as far as private school and public school i say no school and i'm gonna just keep it all the way 100 with you because That's school true. ain't teaching you what life is is yeah. gonna teach you <laughs> school okay, ain't man. teaching you, you to break that down it ain't bro. Prepared. all right i'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you like this so the the education system that we currently have right now Terrible. is built to make our children Rats in the rat race, <gasps> simple and plain. Okay. Put them right on the hamster wheel and had them chasing nothing for the rest of their life. The they're not of, being okay. educated. <laughs> they're not being. That's not education. So weak, bro, like, man, so weak. All we do, I mean, all they do is literally take breaks. Literally. Really. When we used to school, I mean, we had like two, two, three breaks. We had summer, Christmas, spring break. That's for real. It. They got fall breaks, uh, just because break, teacher work day breaks. I was just telling my wife, man, if if I had it like that, and I will, I'm speaking that on into existence, I will have it like that. But when I do have it like that, For sure. I'm, I'm pulling my kids out of school, man, and I'm going to travel around this world with them, teaching them what they really need to know about life. Now, of course, they're going to get their two to three hours of, of math and English and science, so they're not dummies. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. But the real meat and potatoes of what I want to teach them has nothing to do with fucking the Pythagorean theor theorem and motherfucking, <laughs> <laughs> and motherfucking who who Columbus was and what he did and, and yeah. when he came to the to the country that he stole. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not into all that. I'm I'm into the deeper parts of life. That's what's what's really gonna make them good humans. Hey, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Understood. You know, I learned a lot. Like when I went to to Rome, bro. I went to Rome and um. I was asking the tour guide, like, yo, out of all your emperors, I know there were great emperors, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to ask him, I asked him, like, um, was there ever a black emperor? Bro, he told me there was a black emperor of Rome. And he said, honestly, during his time, like, it was only like two or three years, but like, during right. his time, it was like Rome was at some of his most prosperous. I bro, don't don't. I don't want to get to to be the egghead and start off on this shit. But let me tell you, I took a uh, I took a course, some courses in, in college. There was more than just a black emperor of Rome. There were black em on, emperors of, in in China. Come on, the man. The first three dynasties was black. Do do China. do your research, your real real research. They try to hide it and and, and, and smush it out of, out of history, but it's there. Bro, black people, black people was everywhere. I'm trying to tell you, like it was everywhere. Like the Egyptians, <laughs> the Egyptians, they're all black. All the hieroglyphs and everything, oh, they're, they're all black. I mean, I, my dad wrote that down to me. Actually, like, look at the hieroglyphics and everything. Like, why, why you think they break the noses off? Oh, boy. <laughs> why you think they break the noses off? Most of the most of the the past hieroglyphs and all those statues and stuff that you see the megaliths when you look at them, they're destroyed, but they're destroyed intentionally. Why didn't you blow the whole face off? Mm. Why just the nose? Just the nose. That's a dominant feature on black men, ain't it? Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> uh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You know, for me, man, like it's different. It, it's wild because, like, I, I I wanted to speak on some things, like publicly and on any type of a platform, in the past, but I never really take the liberty to, simply because when I started traveling, my perspective changed. Oh, of course, you know what it I mean. Like, change. it changed quick. Going from Rome and then going down to like Ethiopia. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Now we're in we're in blackness wow. you know what i'm saying yeah, bro you start looking at stuff and then it's just like it humbles you it's like wait a minute i can't be a propaganda puppet Absolutely you know what i mean not. i can't just regurgitate something that i've heard somebody else exactly. say exactly the truth is there if, if, if you want it the truth is out I'm there i'm telling you bro a passport a plane ticket <laughs> that's all it costs <laughs> you know what i'm saying really? and then you literally are like reshaping and expanding your mind like to the tenth power, exactly. if you ask me. You exactly. Know? That's exactly why I want to take my kids with me, man. I want to. I want to take them and let them Facts. see this world, man. Let them see everything that's truly out there. Because we're so, man, we're so sh sheltered here in this culture that we have. That's Facts. all we see. We don't Facts. see how even this culture that we have affects the world. You know what I'm saying? We don't even see that, right. and yeah. it's affecting the world. <laughs> you might get out of the country. I want to travel too, because I mean, I know people literally been born and raised here in Atlanta. <laughs> never been outside Atlanta. That's crazy, man. Never been outside Atlanta, literally. Like, bro, how you been here for twenty something years? You've never been outside Atlanta. But Atlanta's dope. Though. I mean, Atlanta's dope. But I'm a nigga. But like, you've never seen any other world, bro. Like, not even like state, over, like a state over. Like, you never been to Florida. Yeah, like, you ain't even been to Alabama. <laughs> Alabama, like, that's true, you know, like, man. you never been to Florida for like a vacation or like that. You know, some. That's you ever true. drove through different country, like state. Right. Yeah, yeah you're right. On, bro. You're like, right. How, you, how you here for twenty something years and you never been outside the state lines of Georgia? You're right. You know what I'm I mean, it, it, I mean, it's and for some people, man, like I mean, I guess if that's your prerogative, you know, that's that's what it is. But like, just just I mean, like one pair of Jordans, bro. Real talk, like one pair of exclusive Jordans, mm -hmm. like the whole five hundred dollar, whatever. You know what I mean, and you're you're literally like blowing your mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, you spending money on clothes and shoes. That's cool and all, but I mean, that thousand two thousand dollars you just spend in a month. You could have been traveled the world and got some real experience. Or you could have opened a business, Hello, which is the perfect segue to what's going on in business, fellas, for us. I know we some all black, young, business making, business Ooh. having young men. So oh, we let's, got, we got things let's let these people year. know. Yeah, let's let these formulated. people know that we can, we can do, you can do what you do, but you can also invest in yourself, invest in your life, and invest in your future, man. So Always back. in your future. I know me and Migo, we work on a lot of things together. We'll talk about that. Josh, what you got coming up, man? Oh, it sucks, man. Um... Well, right now for me, I'm still in the beginning stages of my government contracting firm. Yes, yeah. sir. That's that government money. You heard yeah, him? Yeah, you yeah. heard him? It's, <laughs> it's, it's out there. It's <laughs> out there for you. And, Google and, it. And, and um, so, so what I'm doing right now is um, I'm building a team 
and we're, we're starting to um, call some people about contracts and trying to start to foster some relationships under the umbrella of my LLC name, Shop Josh LLC, and then... Shout out one more time. Shop, Shop Josh. Josh LLC. It's an LLC? Yeah. yeah. We, 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 I mean, we're literally building as we speak. We just started at this, you know, this little sub-narrative slogan that we came up with last night. Okay. Um, a just soldier service company. A soldier service company. Right. So basically what we're going to be providing is moving services, um, courier services, and, and potentially in the future some type of rehabilitation into so, oh, wow. you know, society services as That's well. What's so, That's what I'm talking yeah. about, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm, so you're really looking back to get to give back to the, to the veterans military Absolutely. communities out there? Absolutely. That's, That's something that touches us deeply, you know, and on a, real. on a real level, you know what I mean? And so why not try to complete a cycle that we can kind of oversee you know what I mean? And definitely. make sure that it has our types of values, you know. Definitely, right, 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 definitely. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So you my government contracting. Uh what's up with uh I mean, lately, bro, we it wasn't a big what was big, but the war that we t uh, came with the highlights. Oh man, wow, that's yeah. funny you mentioned that, bro. <laughs> Cause I mean literally the fake the, war or the real war? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It was it was in the headlines for literally like a couple days. <laughs> yeah. War though. War. Everyone was, I'm talking memes. No, war. Ass. I'm yeah. talking about hella memes on the internet. Man. <laughs> they funny, but it's not funny when we was actually going to war, if we were actually going to go to war for real. And but it's I funny mean, that I think we have two completely different dynamics that we can speak on that because I'm from the standpoint, I'm, I, I, I can speak from the capitalist, I guess, standpoint of like, man, if there's a war, then there's a war. You know, these things have happened all throughout time. Right. You know Literally, from the beginning. From the beginning, bro, like, but the thing of it is, I have more opportunities for my business on a government contracting level when there's war than when there isn't war. It's so crazy you say why, that, why man. Why that? Because, bro, like, think about it like this. If you have, say if there's a Nike factory that makes Nikes all over the world, mm -hmm. right, that moves from here to a certain place, they're going to need... 500 places to stay. Educate them, bro. They're going to need 500 cots. Educate them. They're going to need 500 pillows, blankets, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So these are things that my company can come through and say, hey, you need how many of what? Oh, we need 50,000 blankets. Okay, cool. I know, a, I know a place in Texas that makes blankets to this exact mm -hmm. specification. There you go. Mm -hmm. I can fulfill this order for you. You know what I mean? Like, like that's the, that's the complete cycle. Yeah. You know and the, I mean? and the, the flip part of that, um, not to step on you, bro, but the flip part of that is yeah. it sucks. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, a yeah, fucking it war. War means people die, but war is money. It literally yeah. means money at the same time because where there's war, there's weapons. Like right. you said, that where there's war, the, the soldiers need food. Where there's war, you know what I'm saying? That blankets, right. medicine, all industries all economically boom so there's there's a sick part to it but right. it is it is our reality and being a veteran man like that's the part that touches me a great deal because it's like you know i know for a fact if i'm on the front lines and i have to do whatever i have to do and the blanket that i pack with my shit right. is ass Right. I'm pissed. You, you know what I mean? Like I'm really That's gonna real be talk. pissed, bro. Like you're cold out there in that on 19 movie. degrees you see what I mean? uh, desert. You see what I'm saying? And like, who better to know something about that than a person that's already been there? Exactly. You know so you mean? already exactly. know what you need. Exactly. Yeah. So all this process that I that I spent that I had to do to set up my um, government contract and um, licenses or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's done. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I can actually change some shit. Exactly. Instead of like underbidding and be like, oh, you know what? This paper fan, fuck them. They're, they're soldiers. Right. right. Well, to keep you right there, since you are a veteran, man, how, how, did, how did you feel knowing that we were Twitter fingers away from war with Iran? Twitter fingers. I mean, when I went to Iraq, man, I, I built a bond that's honestly unbreakable. Mm. So basically, um, some of the guys that I was in Iraq with, we're, we're all getting together to have like a reunion at the end of the month. That's beautiful. Okay. You know what I mean? And that that That's that was about, caused man. in the chaos of war, mm. if that makes any sense. It does. You build you build bonds that uh can't be broken, like you said, in yeah, war, man. man. Absolutely. So for that, for that standpoint, it's just like if it's inevitable, yeah, make it make sense and let's do it. You know what I mean? We could dance. Right. You know, at the so end of the So you fighting this war? My brother, you said, how did I feel about this? <laughs> but I wasn't. <laughs> no, I was, I was asking, like, how, 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 would, how did you feel about 
when you heard that we could go to war. You know what I'm saying? How, how did it's you feel? Terrible. About it? You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be on this side. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Ain't going. Can't call ain't going. me. Now I'll fly over there and do a drop. You feel me? Right, you know drop like y'all need quick. some ammo. Like man, I'll fly it over there, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, I heard I'll that. get my guys right. You know what I'm saying? I'll yeah. keep, but no, man, I did my, <laughs> I did my, <laughs> my time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll you Twelve on months of it, bro. Hey. You feel me? For the record, I did mine too. I ain't going back. You see what then. I'm saying? <laughs> what about your aspect, Tim? I mean, I know you uh, served as well, so right, yeah. right. Let's yeah. let's talk to but the Air Force. Side. A little, Air Force, a little yeah, sister. Air Force, huh? <laughs> oh, you know, Air Power. How we win wars? You ain't fighting no more. We, we dropping bombs. Dropping bombs. We dropping bombs. Anyway. uh no, uh, my perspective, man, honestly, I'm, my perspective is wide. It's, it's wide because I, I serve, you know what I'm saying? I got, to saw, I got to see the different perspectives of us in they area, you know what I'm saying? Us right. in they town and they cities right. walking around. And then I got to come back home, you know what I'm saying, and see how, how we live in this society as well. Right. And then, um, you know, I, I'm not for war. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one ever for, for war at all because that means people have to die. You know what I'm saying, and I, I feel like there's not not a good good enough reason at all for you to drop a bomb on anybody for any good reason, and innocent people die. All right, Facts. for sure. You know what I'm saying. You would die, don't if, have to. if you if you're gonna fight a war, I feel like the people that's fighting the war should be the only people involved. Yeah. I think Let any Trump innocent go life. Himself. Exactly. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go by himself. Hey, you and your he, Twitter fingers, bro. You go to say, Iran. He, he typed up the war on on, on the man, internet. Hey, yeah, he can go by himself. He can fight. He might be able to fight though. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I heard though. he had little hands, bro. I heard, I heard <laughs> his hands real, real small, bro. I don't think he can he fight. He goes Ooh. Super Saiyan and hands real back. That nigga get folded. Man, he glowing, bro. So he might have that power that y'all talking about. He glow orange, bro. Like he's about to power up. <laughs> oh, shit, I cannot mean. Look, my seriously though, my my, my perspective is sure. this. Seriously, man, I just war is unnecessary. I feel like sure. behind behind the war, it's a whole bunch of bullshit. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get into to some facts. You know what I'm Talk saying? To I'm gonna just get into some facts. Talk to him. Okay. <clears throat> Boom! Blow our minds. <laughs> is it really a war if, let's just say, the two countries involved are ranked? Number one of 137 countries who have strong war powering f- fight fighting capabilities. Number uno. And then the second one is ranked 14th. Is that fair? That's not even the top. Is, 10. is that a war? I mean, that's like <laughs> that's not even the top. That's 10. like you can't even supply them correctly. Okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> supply. Thank you. you. You led me to another fact. Let's say Iran's defense budget. Okay. I think for 2019. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check if Don't it was 2019, but it was 6.3 b, 6.3 billion dollars. Bro, 6.3 billion? That's their budget? That was their defense for a budget country? for their entire country. Guess what ours was? Something trillion. 1.8 trillion. <laughs> <laughs> With a T. Come on. With a T. How much? 1.8. The, the number that I got for 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 2019 that they put out there was 716 billion. Still. We're spending seven hundred more billion dollars than they do in defense management and and firepower and war fighting capability, and and they talking about this going to be a war. That's but, <laughs> see, but it's funny that you mentioned that too because now you have to go back to geopolitics and look at who are the allies of Iran. The exactly. allies of Iran being Russia and China. Mm-hmm. Oh, this becomes a bigger <laughs> conversation. Exactly. For real. That's the reason why everything went to almost like a state of emergency, but then mm-hmm. it died down because it was like, you know what? If 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 Trump didn't have relations with Putin in Russia, mm-hmm. then then he wouldn't be able to de-escalate the situation. Exactly. Per se. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then China is in such a trade embargo with us or like a trade war. Mm-hmm. For instance. They don't want to mess the money up. So it's like, you know what? We rock with you, Iran, but yeah. They'll turn you in a park. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They already know what it is. So, and we we got money. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he owe me five dollars. You know I mean? <laughs> and I and I need that. I need that right now. I need, I need that. that. You good? But he, you know, he got a <laughs> homie over here. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So that's what that's what happens. Now you look at um, politics and economics. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So where you can see how is this going to affect the greater good for. The global market, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? The global health, like all of that stuff gets affected now. Definitely. So what, what, what's your perspective though, Migo? What you, what you think? I mean, Trump is... 
I just, I, I don't know. I mean, I just never just liked the way that he's just been, quote unquote, running the country yeah. through, Man, the, through uh, the internet. No, no. I just, anything I, goes. Yeah, give it to him. I just don't like that shit. Like, give, give it to him. You, you, I mean, you, you, you <laughs> was about to go in and you, you went I don't, back. I, I don't like the fact that he's running that shit through the internet, though, for real. That just is like, bro, like, yeah. you're stooping down to to a level where, like, people are not respect you anymore, dude. Like, you're right. on the internet. Like, you're right. having conversations with regu- regular civilians on the internet. <laughs> for what? Dude, you're the president. Regular like you're going back. You know what I'm State. saying? Like you're going Free back. And, tweet. You're, you're going back and forth with like no name ass niggas. Like, like come on, man. Like come on, bro. That's, he's of the people. Though, <laughs> nah, bro. He, he's too much of the people, bro. He's uh, caught in this little internet phase, and this shit is taking him taking uh, a toll for the worst. President, bro. The president. Like the president's tweet. I never is, imagined, is, man. He's like I'm young, and I never bro, imagined. He is subtweeting. Oh, he. <laughs> He is subtweeting <laughs> Iran. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Nigga, what? You are tweeting <laughs> about killing uh, someone in Iran. Like, come on, dog. Come on, man. Like that. That. <laughs> how you? How Who you we that? talking about again? Trump. <laughs> 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 Who we talking about? <laughs> no, nah, Trump, dog. Like, <sighs> dude, dude, really is is he ain't it? Yes. Sir. And speaking about ain't it, that's why he's you know on the on the verge of getting impeached. Yeah. I mean that's yeah. easy. that process is um is crazy too, man. Like understanding the three different branches of government. I don't even know what the three branches of government is. <laughs> executive, oh, executive, legislative, and uh, judicial. Judicial. There judicial. We go. See, I went to private school once. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of paid attention. School. That yeah. was my, my public school education kicking in. Yeah, my dad saying? made memorize that shit. That's what's up, man. <laughs> but like that system of checks and balances, man, is so skewed and flawed. Oh. You know what I mean? Because we're dating back now to the Declaration of Independence, exactly. and you know, all our country was formed on to to basically be able to facilitate modern day problems. Right. Yeah. Like you have to change and evolve, bro. That's why, I like, I feel like places like Atlanta and San Francisco, L.A., things of that sort. Oh, they're thriving. They're thriving, man, because. Uh, one of my guys in Saudi Arabia, Bader Al Kharni, you know, uh, what's happening? Salam. Inshallah. You know what I mean? Inshallah. He told me, he said, a life without change is not a life. Wow. Like, so you again. mean wait, 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 to tell me wow. a life without change is not a life? Yes, sir. Okay. So 1970, 1776, Declaration of Independence, or whatever it is, mm-hmm. back, back in that time, from then until now, Nothing needs changing. <laughs> <laughs> now we're right out like this, player. Man, nah. the whole yeah, world man. changed 15 years ago. I mean, it changed dramatically to never go back. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, ain't right. no more olden days. No, it, it's the world is. It went on a different path, and it's never going back, man. I agree with you. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> hey, shout out Obama for that. Obama. Big ups. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, man, that's just one of those things when it comes down to it, man. Politics affects pop culture. It affects everything. Like yeah, so even with Cap and Jay Z and you know and Beyonce, I'm with glad they're, you, they're like I'm glad you brought that up. the music. <clears throat> glad you brought that up. Well, what you got, my brother? What's because that? Uh, that just triggered my 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 brain to yeah. uh, think about uh, uh, what's the word conspiracies. Oh, oh. So you just saying that with higher like with Jay Z and everything? I feel like. All them niggas in it, bro. Everyone is in some type of. <laughs> now, when you say in all, it, what are you referring to? My it. What is in it? Some type of some type of organization group, uh, Illuminati. Uh oh. That you mm-hmm. get it. That that is just controlling everything. Uh oh. We we gonna go there? We, I'm going there. We are going all the I'm way there. there. I'm in there. In there. <laughs> so. I yeah, put, let's, I, let's I'm gonna say right. Illuminati is real. Dig in. It's real. Okay. So Illuminati it's real. is real. So Fact. what do you have to support your your statement? Oh, there, there are a there lot there. of videos, a lot of uh, just background like mm. documentaries I've watched personally that mm. I, Illuminati is real. Mm. Okay. Like it's, and it's any like, examples? Um, and videos on YouTube you can go where I just see um like various artists like. Rihanna, Chris Brown, mm-hmm. uh, Jay Z. I didn't even see Kobe in there. That's LeBron, it's <laughs> all in there. I hate to see it, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I feel like they all Illuminati. Like even like like weird shit. We're like uh, they were saying some Kobe joined Illuminati when he turned 24 because two plus four is six. You know what I'm saying? It was it was just weird shit. I was just seeing. It was like okay, everything is starting to add. Like even LeBron with the number six. It was yeah. just see, man, with with the conspiracies, I'm with you. So you into that you. numerology. I'm, I'm I'm very into numerology. I'm into a lot of stuff, man. They call me they call me to everything, man. I'm serious. I'm I'm in, I'm into a lot of stuff, man. I'm just into knowledge. I'm into just knowing. I'm yeah. that kind of dude. I'm nosy as fuck. I want to know everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 
when I when I hear my boy Migo talking, it makes sense to me because I do understand stuff on a deeper level. Now, right. if you are into numerology, you would know that numerology is a big thing. They say it's weaved into our universe. Mm -hmm. They say numbers hold extreme significance to our to our existence, to our reality. Okay. And knowing the significance of it allows you to kind of bend the reality and you know be able to to, to control it. So, based off what he's saying, from what I know, that's it goes a little bit deeper because these secret societies, they get all off into numerology, mm -hmm. they get off into astrology, they get mm -hmm. off into, you, you know, that? esoteric stuff. You know what I'm saying? You seen that movie, uh, The Number 23 with Jim Carrey? Oh, yeah. I haven't. Oh, I need to see that. It's a good movie, man. It's on Netflix. My boy Jim is super uh, woke. No, it's on Netflix. Check, check Jim out now. That boy, Number Carrey? <laughs> check Jim Carrey out now. Check him out bro, on his movie, latest. Bro, that movie is uh, mind-boggling. Really, I'm to it gets you thinking. Okay, that's a good. That's a good introduction. I won't say good introduction because you know Hollywood controls a lot of that shit. Right, right. they they, they kind of peek peek behind the curtain, kind of in, in a sense, because you get to see about how that shit is real in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the yeah. numbers, the significance, how you, if you really pay attention, certain things happen at certain times. You know what I'm saying? Down to the little. Like 3.33, it was, I can remember, it was 3.27. Why? Why could you remember that numerical significance? Stop it. I be remembering times, but, so I need to start writing them down? Write it down. You know, and, 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 and just, I'm telling you, anybody out there, let's talk to the people. Yo, that's us. crazy. Anybody out there, if, you, if you're really trying to find something, if you're really trying to figure out if something is important, you got to be different. Think different about it. Oh, you think you ever thought about think that, bro? Outside the box. You ain't never thought about that shit? No, I just feel like... <laughs> yeah. Like numbers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So numbers though. <laughs> numbers. Like, With slide number, on number, it, number, anything numbers goes, don't bro. lie. Numbers don't lie. That's, that's numbers don't lie. Oh, they don't. Two things don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Ball don't lie. And check this. I mean, what rules are society? Women lie. Men lie. But numbers, numbers don't, don't lie. lie. It's your boy, and, Yo Gotti. And, hey. and, and black men don't cheat neither. <laughs> Ever. We just, we just. Uh, what do we say? You black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. We Straight just repeat up. or something like that. <laughs> no, we don't know. Nah. What we nah. say, don't don't get us repeat nothing. <laughs> don't get us messed nah. up. It's no second nah. chances, man. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a trail of terror. <laughs> Beyond, come back. <laughs> Dude, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm exactly. out of here. Get Damn. Flip but, side, but back on topic. <laughs> but uh, what what conspiracies are do you do you really think could be real? And which ones do you think are really truly affecting our society on a level where people are like, man, you know what I'm saying? Wow, this is really going that, on. This is really one, happening. What's that one hierarchy? Uh, um, I believe in the Rothschilds. Oh, that you, yeah. the money in the money. All you got to do is look. <laughs> I don't think it affects our society though. I kind of, I kind of like it. I, this is like, cool. How could because, it not? Because I'm gonna tell you straight like this. Once I change my mindset. And and I, I break into that seven figure category. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a matter of damn. I could have been here with y'all, but I was thinking about something different. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like my mindset was different, so I couldn't get but, on that. But wave, you don't right? think that a family being able to buy an entire country, you don't think that's a bad thing? Nah, bro. What? So <laughs> so so. But check this though. But check this though. Mansa Musa. You know what I'm saying? One of the most powerful and wealthiest black men. But what did he do, though? He, I mean, he bought and sold slaves. He bought and sold slaves, right. but he also walked he around giving giving around gold to everybody. He just, yeah. he hear everybody. He and, showed, and that, that, he, he like, shared like, the gold. Like England, the Queen of England, they're notorious for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. monarchies thrive. Saudi Arabia, I spent some time in the desert of Saudi Arabia. Mm. The king will give out, like, vehicles to tribes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Different types of stuff. It's just it's just all on how you, you do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, right. Yeah, but the only reason y'all suit up for the only reason there's a military is because of the Rothschilds. The whole world is affected by that. The only reason the government <laughs> yeah. has taxes is because of the Rothschilds, bro. The yeah. world is affected by them, bro. The, they, they own they all did, the banks. They did something in a time that nobody could ever do again. They Ever. funded a war. <laughs> right. That means that every they got back more than anybody could ever give, bro. So Period. they're good forever. So what they got back was beyond money. That's why you're never going to see a Rothschild on a Forbes list. Come on, bro. You do know they are a part owner or full owner of all the central banks, right? Man, they own yeah. all of the, the central money. banks. That's why yeah. I said the reason why we even go to war with other countries is because y'all didn't accept our money. 
you don't accept the Rothschilds' money, we going to war, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say. And that leads right and back that's, to that's every ally we got. They talks. use our, they use Rothschild money. They needed Rothschild's help to go to war. Watch this. That that leads right back to everything we've been talking about: the conspiracies, the mm. war with Iran, everything. Why you think there was a real war with Iran? Was there a central bank in Iran before all this stuff stuff they popped still, up? They don't. Well, they they <laughs> ain't no said central, no. Most, ain't, mo most Muslim countries said no. We they don't said no. We don't right. need y'all money. I'm, I'm not we even going to say. resources here in Africa. Yeah, what we need y'all for? All I'm going to say is Google, y'all listeners, Google how many uh, countries out there are left uh -huh. without a central bank that are that are owned by the, that family and then <laughs> see, that, see what's going to happen. <laughs> you gonna take we are on the way. See what's, <laughs> there's, there's already conflict been brewing there. Mm -hmm. Or it's about to brew there, just like it was with Iran, right. and they keep on saying, "Nah, uh, we gonna fight back." I mean, even as small as Puerto Rico, like they, like they snuck in there, and Trump is trying to get on their ass. I'm Puerto Rican, so I know I got family there. All that. I'm that's crazy. It's different. Like yeah. we got that. We have American support, but it ain't like that. And Trump is trying to let you know that, like mm. y'all got y'all don't got the agreement that y'all know what's happening. <laughs> So Trump you. exposing a lot of stuff that people are afraid to talk about. It's, he, he In is, a way, he I is. Mean, two things I feel about the Trump shit. I I like that he became president. A lot of people right. don't want to admit it, but I love all the negativity that he brought because I think the world was under the impression that people aren't racist <laughs> right? and people aren't don't give a fuck about this and don't give a fuck about that. And that's right. not the truth. Yep. The right. truth is that there's, it's people, clearly there's people that you go to work with every day. They don't have a problem with you. And I had to break this down to a white person the other day about KKK. Mm. But KKK does not mean that you hate black people. Nah, no, it, does. it doesn't. That you believe in something <laughs> that y'all can get the money and do everything this way. Right. Now, most of them don't give a fuck about nobody. Up. It's not even that they don't give a fuck about black people. If you're yeah. not in this circle, they don't they give don't. a fuck. They just don't rock with you. Okay. You're another They're white person and you think you said he's on you get back in. Right. And they'll hate they your ass, ass too. Right. That's why they put on that cape, niggas. So they don't know what they are. They don't know who they are. That's what that whole premise is. Yeah. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I ain't even in peace on these meetings. Rothschilds is the reason why this whole world oh, is yeah. we going through everything yeah. we go through. They, people might not It's the money. That. It's the they money. might not Believe know me. that because people don't read. But we, when we was younger, we had the books. Exactly. We had to go to the library and go exactly. pick out a book you wanted to read. Exactly. Like, I was burnt. I was going to pick out shit that I wanted to know what the real was. Exactly. Yeah. What are the facts? People, yeah. what, what really Follow the what money. What's really going on? Why did black people really walk through? Like even the that's another segment. But I'm just saying, like even with the Martin Luther King being black and why Martin Luther King was Martin Luther King and Malcolm X was Malcolm X and there wasn't other people you heard of. It's reasons why all that shit went on. It's reasons why black people had to get rights. Mm. It wasn't that they wanted to give us rights. They had to. We was fucking shit up. We didn't <laughs> fuck up no black person bond. Right. Even if me and you got into a fist fight right now when we walked out there, nigga, I cool. wish a nigga would. Are you wrong? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm on him. That's what I'm that way. Yeah. You're right. At a point of that, it had to be a point and I right, we got to let him have that. We was running through, but we was walking through cities, deep them down. Perfect deep. segue. That's a perfect segue into what's happening today. I'm you talking know what about I'm we was walking through tearing that shit down. You my Thousands of black people. Do you know how scary that is? Scary. Walking through tearing scary. down. Fire. <laughs> Terrifying. Scary. And the thing of it is, see, this is what happens. This is what happens, right? The thing happens is this. You you start to you, you start to see that happening. It's like you know what we need somebody that we can talk to. Yeah, right. somebody that's that's like us. Right. Yeah. Now, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of those guys that we look at for peace and justice and yeah. being able to kind of reel it all in. Right. Yeah. He told him on his he told on his own self. Right. He, he said, you know what? I feel like I've led my people into a burning building. Oh yeah, he oh, did. Yeah. He know what sure. he did. He knew what he did. I love Martin Luther King Jr. I respect him. And he came out but, and said that, bro. But, bro, and that was real. the wrong thing. That that had them white people feeling like they could as kill us, hang as, us from trees. As soon we as he started nothing. to put the real to it, I mean, yeah, they had to take him. Oh, what, they had, happens. of course. That's, that's a, what happens. That's what happened with all of them. That's what happened with every last one of them. When you get a certain point, when you get a certain point in life, and you just start to expose, like, expose something, like even, even like, uh, like Nipsey, 
Oh, yeah. Like, he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just certain things that. Comes a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, if you get too smart and too, like, into you, the game and start, gotta, you start to join the stuff, club. If you, you know don't join you don't the join club, it, they're going to try to out you. <laughs> and that's what it is. You got to join sucks. the club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sucks. And you really, really can't do shit about it. It's a level. I'm trying to tell you, it's a level that they will allow you to get to because exactly. they control. Like they my control man said, they control shit. the money. They control see, it. For, for me, though, <laughs> the thing of it is, for me, like when it comes down to it, that's a system that's so deeply rooted and set oh, in place. Man. Like my man's was saying, like you know, you, you can't help but to hate it. But then at the same time, you got to figure out a way to finesse. That's it. it. That's you know the only I mean? thing because you can do. If it, it's something like that, has been so entrenched into our DNA. It's almost just like God planted them. And then they just made everything happen. Mm -hmm. Whether he did or he didn't, they signs they they pulled a slick move. So now guess what? Right. what I'm we gonna do? be black. What do we do now? And I'm gonna pull a slick move because I wanna eat like the way you eat. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna finesse our way up there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Donald Trump made it. I, I don't care what nobody say. Fuck what he be talking about out his mouth. I don't respect him. I feel like Man, I'm he a have rich to asshole. He's been a rich like, asshole his I whole feel like life. I'm gonna have to <laughs> but what I'm gonna say is this is that he made it to where like all y'all motherfuckers is mad because y'all aren't self thinkers. He just made the I whole felt like world. I was gonna have to dab him up. <laughs> he just made the whole world and just said he said, I right, all y'all non self thinking ass niggas, y'all about to be getting taxed. We about to flip this shit. Thank you. Not about to be taxing the niggas that work their ass off, they work the, for their families to get right. For us we, bro, this is a reality. Up until Donald Trump got into office, if you made a million dollars, you had to give away four hundred thousand. Forty percent. Because capital gains tax. That's four hundred thousand. So when you 48. see Kanye West talking about, bro, uh, he talking about his God. I mean, I, I I believe in God. That's a whole nother realm. But you gotta stop and you gotta say, look, I'm getting six million dollars back because Donald Trump. Did this, 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 this. <laughs> That's why you got six million back. You get six million back because God just said, you know, <laughs> that ain't no, bro. You a businessman. You started a business. You was in part of it. It was a lot of people that got it. You got that. Imagine what other people got. My man exactly. is dripping on finesse. You, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you got to be a business owner. He's making it to where if you run a business, you're good. Be a mm -hmm. self-thinker. Mm -hmm. He's making it to where... The, it, people in America don't give a fuck about this, but our iPhones are being made for like ten dollars, bro, and we paying a thousand. Literally, for them. it's ridiculous. And Literally. they're paying, <laughs> and, and that's with including labor. So, 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 so let me hop labor. in. Let me hop in. So that right there, right? So whenever I go to talk about getting some things for the military from China, yeah. he's telling me like, well, I can give you this price, but in two weeks the price will be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because what is he doing? He's just like, you want to <laughs> we need stuff here. Y'all talking about y'all want jobs, man. Exactly. Like, let me make y'all jobs. Y'all exactly. right trying to get everything from China. How about I, I get this big ass embargo? Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, right Trump, here. we're going to do a reverse embargo. <laughs> That's cool. Right. All right. You know what? Okay, we, we're sorry. <laughs> Instead of beefing with these niggas, he got us taking our own oil. That's how hard Shotty going. I mean, y'all people can say whatever they want about Shotty. But if you a business get nigga and you like money, everybody love wanting to trap. He a everybody business man. Everybody wanna scam. He making it if you can, if you scam it, you got them, you damn near straight. Man, like, that's the one thing on, I bro. always said about Donald Trump. I don't like him. I don't like him. I'll say it I'll like say it loud as fuck, I don't like him, but the man always been a businessman. Definitely. How you lose, I'm not how you business. go bankrupt three, four I'm times and still you a billionaire? Man. Let me handle my business. Come on, man. man. It's called You it's know called what he doing. Dissolve. It's all on purpose, man. It's called dissolving that LLC. And because I'm, <laughs> also, because I'm a businessman, I understand him in a way that the, the, the regular general public don't understand because right. I'm trying to, I, I run multiple businesses. So I understand how you got to do things. Right. <laughs> to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And so I respect that. I truly respect that he's a businessman. And in, in ways, the country is actually better because of his business acumen. I'm not just going to tell, tell the truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's go that way then. Let's go that way. How do you feel about everything going on right now? Current administration, current events, when it comes down to being a business owner. LLC. Man. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at it. Look at how things are going for business owners right now. But like, like you, you hold saying. back. Talk to us. <laughs> Remember, anything goes. See, look here. I don't. I don't want to piss off people. Nah, 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 because nah, nah. anything goes. <laughs> no, because this 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 culture that we have now. You say the wrong thing. I mean, they sensitive, but and, it is what it and is. they sensitive it is as shit, it is. man. We we said, you know what I'm saying? So, I, but I don't want. I don't want my my own words to be misconstrued. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I want, I want people to understand that. 
I don't I don't support this man. Right. But as a business owner, I understand this man. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And as a and as an aspiring billionaire, uh, what they say, success leaves c- clues. Yeah, uh, I he's a billionaire. I mean, <laughs> how did he get his billions? How does he keep his billions? Yeah. I'm I'm studying all of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You gotta mix it with him. Fuck him. We. Nigga, we know the law. <laughs> this is the law. We're talking about. Yeah, this is exactly. the information. Signed off for everybody in America. The law. Fuck what he talking about. You can I don't do it give too. A fuck what he talking about. You can all do it. <laughs> and see, that's the thing, man. Like, I feel like a lot of people that are sheeples in our community. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like people that look like me. You know, whatever term you want to put it on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People are not self thinkers. Mm-hmm. I talked to an OG, and I was listen- I was looking at a video one time. And they both told me, they said, the worst thing to happen to black people was desegregation. Man, mm-hmm. look. Because nobody wants to think for themselves We was getting now. our money then. We was getting our money Bingo. then. We had our own Wall Street and everything until they Bingo. blew it up. Look, we was getting our money. Yo, Bingo. get your money. You get your I'm money. Saying? That's how you break the system. Get your money. What get you got money. to say on that, Migo? <laughs> I'm just, what you about to say? Get the money, bro. Like, that's, that's the only... <laughs> Is get the money. Only should be the only objective is get the money. You know what I mean. And they can't stop you. You know what I'm saying. Like if you have the money, like there's nothing they can say about it now. I mean, big shout out to Killer Mike, man. Do illegal. Whenever, whenever he made it clear that you know if I'm trying to spend all of my time uh, with black businesses, then I'm not really going to be able to survive. Mm. But black businesses, I mean, it's it's, it's just hard to be black business sometimes now. Black people don't know what the fuck they doing. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're, always, they're always trying to finesse their way into. Man, they don't do it right. 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 There's a way to do this you thing. Know what I'm saying? There's, there's a way to do this thing. There's a way thing. to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you got to work for it. You got to work for it. You, you know what I'm saying? You can't just half-ass them. Or if you have a business and you're half-ass working for somebody just yeah. because you know what I'm saying? Oh, you might know them or you think they don't need it on time. No, mm-hmm. nigga, you getting yeah. paid for this. You, you have a job. This. It's right. a service. Like that's true. Be you're on in business. Time. Popeyes. Popeyes. Right <laughs> Popeyes. Good way to right. do this, you know man. What I'm saying, but, like, uh, but when it comes down to it, man, I feel like you know one of the things that is tough is like the way that the the way that the um the government is when it comes down to black businesses, man. You gotta kind of like. Do what you can until you can get to that level to where you can be legit. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just like, why are you charging forty five dollars for that? It's like, bro, because I gotta pay this license exactly. so I can get the the cheap stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's just like, man, we we had a significant disadvantage, man, with that. But black, we just gotta do know, better in general as a whole. Adapt and overcome. There it is. Everybody, not just black people. Everybody as a whole. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, so uh, but now, fellas, let's get into a little uh, little sports topic. Oh. Did you well, well, first off, uh, I never expected. Well, I, the Chiefs was. I knew they was going to be pretty good, but I Chiefs. never expected the Forty Nineers to be in the damn Super Bowl. I Chief ain't going to lie. I respect their defense, and I had to respect it all year. But I didn't think they was going to make it to the fucking Super Bowl. Forty nah. Niners. <laughs> uh, my boy from uh, what's his name, uh, Lamar. Uh huh. Didn't go far. Oh enough. man, I'm hurt. That was a true Cinderella did, story. Though. You, you see how they did it though? Uh, what you talking about? They let him get off. They oh. shut everybody else down. Yeah. Go ahead, be spectacular. You can't beat us all. <laughs> I mean, you know, football, you can't beat us all. You can be as spectacular as you want to, hey, you know, Mr. I was Jackson. That he could. I was just like, you know what? It's, it's, yeah, he can do it. He can do that. But then it was just like, oh wow, wait a minute. I guess he can't. So we got Chiefs and what? Uh, Chiefs and 49ers, 49ers for so the Super Bowl. Jeez. I got the 49ers. Okay. Patrick. Oh, oh, hello. I got Mahomes. the 49ers. You going Mahomes? Okay. Patrick. What you gonna do with that defense, bro? Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> my homie? Can I call you that? <laughs> my homie? My homie. So you think, you think it's Chiefs all the way? Man, Patrick. Boy, did, hey, did y'all see? Like, they had some close-ups of his face. Uh-huh. He had that look in his eye. Oh, yeah, he That's great. The look, the look that he had in his eye was, let me figure this out. That's great. You know what I'm saying? Tannehill was just looking like, shit. He was playing against Tannehill. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Come on, man. Tannehill was like, did, shit. That defense has been the same, consistent, all yeah, so they've been you, damn good all year. Points, what do you think point spread going to be? Point spread, 42-7. What? Damn. <laughs> damn, that confident? 42-7. That is not, I, you, let's, um, I damn want to put a little wager on that. I, 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 I want to see the reason my wallet. Hold on, hold on. But, but, but the thing of it is, it's like, it's like looking at those two quarterbacks, man, I looked in the, I looked in his eye, bro. He was just like, let me figure out a way to make this happen. Mm. They were yeah. losing. Yeah, to they, the definitely Titans. Came, they definitely came back, for sure. They were losing, right? To the Titans. To the Titans. With Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I'm trying to tell you. Everything. That's Andy Reid. You could tell a nigga run through the wall, and he like, fuck it, I'm about to run through the wall. <laughs> about to That's Andy Reid right there. You see what I'm saying? Like Andy Reid, 
and 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 Patrick Mahomes mesh so well. It's just like, oh my god, bro! Like the the blueprint is out on Mahomes though. It's out on him. I thought so too, but he made those adjustments. He's like, and, and that's the look that I saw. It's like he's like, okay, I made these adjustments. Forty two so to seven to, though. <laughs> forty two. <laughs> Forty-two that's, to seven. That's ridiculous. I'm it's going, a spread, right? It's, I think that's it's going to be a low-scoring game. Bowl. I really think it's going to be a low-scoring game. Super Bowls are damn near like low-scoring. Yeah. Chiefs ain't been to the Super uh, Super Bowl in be fifty one, years. It's going to be one or the other. You got two teams. You got two teams that's going to either go. Either it's going to be yeah. They, they, I mean, have, they don't play. Uh, they either lose or they win. Forty two seven. I'm still stuck on that. I think it's going to be low-scoring. No, I think it's going to be low-scoring. But it's going to be if it's low-scoring, it's going to be. 27 yeah. 7. Yeah. Like, I can see like that, maybe. Like that, if they if, if, if Super Bowl. <laughs> if they if they end up running it up, Patrick God, is a jock, bro. Patrick is like, uh, can I get this touchdown? Right, though, they, they, yeah, let me throw they, they, they do score in bunches. They and score Andy Reid. Yeah. Andy Reid doesn't feel like Andy Reid's not one of them type of dude. He's like Bill Belichick's like, you know what? We're gonna play football to the end of the game. Where's Super Bowl gonna be this year? Huh? Where's it at this year? Uh Florida, Miami. Florida? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could have a pop up in Miami though. <laughs> Super Bowl, hey, yeah. it's 2021, man. We traveling. Shout bro. out, shout out to the wife. We heading to Miami uh, pretty Yee. soon. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Miami. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what it is? A mountain uh, of coke. Hey, so but basketball though, man. Hey. LeBron James. Stop. LeBron. Let's first things first. No. LeBron James. Stop it. Don't disrespect. <laughs> first. Hey, don't disrespect Kobe like that. First things. Don't disrespect. Come Kobe. on, man. Don't disrespect. Are you like serious? That. What's wrong with LeBron? Nothing's wrong with him, but he's not the greatest. I didn't, I didn't say he was the greatest. He ain't the greatest yet. <laughs> yes. He got to win a championship this year while he's still good to be the greatest for, for me. But I'm he, he, he got up there with Jordan when he came back 3-1. I don't he, give a fuck about all the circumstances. Jordan, he came back 3-1. So he got up there with Jordan. Who's if the he went, Who's the GOAT? Jordan. Right now, Jordan is the GOAT. Who is the best? Right now? LeBron James. Okay, in the league, yeah. He right still now. affects the game more than anybody oh, else on, can. Wait, 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 Who Bowles. affects the game more? A lot than of people like that. on his third team. A lot of people. Try LeBron to say James Yanni on his Bowles. third team with a better yeah. team. Third team in three years. Kawhi LeBron James on a better Kawhi team. Kawhi don't play back to backs. LeBron's he don't exactly. He ain't even no. certified yet, LeBron's man. He is like what ninth year. <laughs> record is LeBron has a losing final. Yeah, he does. Do, 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 you, do you hear what you're saying? Do you? Do you hear what you're saying? It, you're, you're saying that it's bad that the man has got to the best pinnacle of his sport okay, but, as many times so as we, anybody else. All right, so are we, are we that basing, is ridiculous. Are we, basing, are we basing this off rings or stats? <laughs> you can't say that. It's a team accomplishment. If it was Tiger Woods we're talking about, but I'm saying Kobe played bam. the same team for 20 years. It does not matter. Do you know how, what all time, the different though. things it takes a for a time. team to win yeah. a championship? But back in the day, it was it was tougher basketball. Back Just then. for the simple <laughs> fact, <laughs> for the simple <laughs> fact that nobody, for the simple fact that he got to nine, you know it's him. What are you talking about LeBron James? You know it's him. Yeah, if you look you know at the team's him. records, he is that the he best leads. guy. Yeah. He is getting his team can, to the finals every year. That's cool. He can get there. Who else is doing that? He, right now, nobody. nobody. Right now, no one in this league. Nobody's right now, he is getting his team to the finals. Nobody's ever done. Nobody's ever done that like and that. And his numbers. I mean, his numbers. His numbers. It's are always been a team. He has drugged. He has drugged all his teams to the finals. But you got to yes. think about it like this, though. <laughs> yes, Honestly, you, you really you have to think about it like you were talking about it. No, we didn't one of y'all were saying like tougher basketball. I think my you bad, got a factor. My bad, listeners. I think you got to factor that time period. They playing tougher basketball. The rules are different. Stop it. The Stop courts it. It are different. Back in the day. So at Stop the time, it. so it then you got to you got to have you got to have errors. It wasn't it wasn't tougher back in the day. No, no. The rules are different. The no, it's the the rules change. It's not that errors, man. It's not. It's the the rules change. The tougher basketball, I say, is because they're not calling these little. Th battle. That's exactly James what I'm talking Harden. about. They, they're, they're, the they're rules change. If, 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 if the rules didn't either. change, if the rules didn't change, don't you think niggas would be out there fighting? If the rules didn't change, you said what? I mean, if the rules didn't change, don't you think niggas would be out there fighting and pushing and doing the same stuff? But they would still be. I'm saying it's the rules that's keeping them from doing it. It's the rules. But I mean, yeah. But see, that extra but see that's but now the game's all buddy happen. buddy. The game's all and see, buddy that's the buddy thing. now. So in that era, buddy because buddy of the rules, in that era, you gotta have great no, players. The game, the game now is 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 a lot of it's buddy technical. buddy. It's, it's a lot technical. of buddy buddy going on though. Oh, it definitely is a lot of buddy buddy. buddy. I say it's, buddy it's buddy. A, I say for the buddy buddy for the fact that yeah, let's go team up with this. Exactly the competition. The competition. Ain't no wrong. You know what I'm saying? But back in the day. Oh yeah, on the, on the court, out, yeah. you don't that nigga on the other side, you don't fuck with him. That's exactly. What I said. Teams are, were, you know what I'm saying? Do more back then. Yeah. Like they're back then, out the mud. The, the the GMs was more willing to make sure a player had who they wanted on the squad exactly. to make it happen. 
But see, nowadays they're not doing that. Nah. Because a player could leave whenever they want. They get it's, they it's get too mad. Much, it's too much it's leeroom. Too much you want. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah I, okay. I take it's my in the players. I agree. It's, the game it's, has changed, it's, man. It's in the players. The game has changed. And so with that, you know, what I'm saying in a, in an era when you couldn't have that, then you got to reign a king. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a completely different era. So then in the era when you do, you know what I'm saying, have that, which is the current era, we got to have a different king. That's why they're looking at um, Zion Williamson being so different, too, is because, like, okay, is there a new era where you have dads that can kind of start a brand with their kids he's and hype. family? Nah, he's hype. You know I, like, what I mean? I, I mean he's hype. He's Zion hype. is not going to be. But not, it's a game changer. I mean, hype. Zion is a game changer, but he's not going to be. He's not going to He's not going to go down one of the greats. He's well, hype. you ha- okay. So, so look at the situation of Lonzo I Ball. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like people are. I mean, he's. he's it's a, not fair. First of all, bro, he's young as fuck, and you got to look at the aspects of the game. When LeBron first came to the game, the reason why he was the best, it wasn't so much because of what niggas wanted to make it seem. It was mm. because of what it was. He was a big guy. Right. He, I'm talking he, about his pure he, skill. He's right. just not skill. What can right. Zion do? He can't Zion. shoot. Zion. That's a lie. You have to watch this. I watch Zion. him. He doesn't Zion. shoot enough for you to say that he, he shoots. Zion. He, does, he has a slow shit, set shot. Zion. That's not going to work I'm, in the NBA when they rotating on him. It's I, not. I, Zion is, I, to me, though, Zion's a great player, but he, I ain't going to lie. His, his moves that he has now, he's got to develop. He's got to develop he, a better him, handle. No, he's got to develop. No, 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 he can't no, bring the ball up the court. Got, he, his skill right now. In the NBA? His skill right now is not going to cut it. If he develops. I'm, I'm say, when, when I, let, me, let me clarify what I was saying. For, for what when I, when I meant when I said he was hype, for what everybody is saying he is, he is not right now. I'm saying that's hype. Mm. All that right now is hype. Okay. If he develops so to that... That's cool. Right. right now, he does oh, not man, have a good handle. He, he does not have a good right, three-point right, exactly. shot. Yeah, exactly. he, yeah you can't put him man. in that conversation right now, until you. Uh, uh, young guys, I think that boy Jaw going to get rookie of the year. Oh, uh, that boy he is. Uh, he is he should. Beast. That boy, Jaw, not only does he play above boy, the rim, he plays like, for the he plays team. That nigga's a grizzly bear, bro. Jaw is He really is. He is a monster, man. That seven-footer he dunked on last night. Oh, bro. Once he gained some weight, I don't think he needs to gain any weight. He needs to. No, he definitely got to He's too weight. small. You think so? That boy, he's right, too that small. Boy twiggy. Boy, That's why he's been out for some games. They knocking yeah, him down. Oh, man. They bro, beat bro, him up, bro. Oh, my God. Twigs, yeah. Bro. He's like my size, bro. He's my size. For real. <laughs> but see, I've never been like, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Dang, that's yeah, great. Oh, he, shit. I think he's the most underrated basketball player we've seen. Oh, yeah, definitely. Before Jason Taylor. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Nobody knew he was going to do all that. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all who's underrated. What do you mean? I'm gonna tell y'all I mean, who's he, underrated. I mean, I mean duh, Jaw yes, coming. He is the check this out. Jaw coming. Yeah, but Jaw coming from from uh, Murray State, bro. Like I knew he was gonna do some nasty in the league. Not like this. He's got, nigga. They are going to the playoffs, right? Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, they're yeah. going to playoffs. That's but cool. I'm gonna tell y'all who. I'm gonna yeah, tell y'all who's probably. underrated. Check this out. Alex West? Caruso. He did that enough. Alex Caruso from the Lakers is the most underrated player in the league. Right? I don't think he's underrated. He was always good. That's why his name was always up there. He just had the hair. He was always good. You think so? Always good. I ain't well. I never heard of Caruso. I never heard of Caruso. <laughs> always He's good. always been good. He's always and good. he got boosties too. That boy can jump. <laughs> no, he always this... got laughed at. What got what overshadowed him was because he looked old. He, yeah, he, he looked weird. But I'm he's a always been good. Go always been a dog. College. He's always been good. He's never. What, what, do you, what, what college do you go to? I don't even Murray know. State. Oh, you talking about Mike Caruso? My bad. My bad. I was <laughs> talking about Alex Caruso. Caruso. My fault. Caruso. I don't even know. I said before this year, I didn't hear. I didn't hear about him. Me neither. He always was good. I thought he was the Google man too. He might have went to the goddamn. Oh, I don't know where he went. Um, yeah. So, um, so this is saving right now. We're doing uh, a lot of opportunity to uh, get a little outside input from uh, people. All right, all right. Um. So I guess we're gonna uh, ask a couple. What's questions. the topic? What? What? Yeah. What? What? Let's go back to the bulk of the topic about the conspiracies and the and the government. Uh, going that topic. I know you guys were definitely like I said. Uh, what we all said ex um, uh, military. So you, I know you guys have people that you guys have in con- are in contact with that you can probably get insight on us um, how um, they feel about Trump. I feel about maybe the potential war. Um. We get those guys on the line. We can definitely ask them what we, how we feel, how they feel about it. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and set that up, and we're gonna take a quick little five second commercial break, and uh, we'll be back, and we'll have the uh, first call on the phone for you guys. All right, all right, all right. sounds good. All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, Niggas with Attitude podcast. Uh, we actually have a call on the line right now. We have uh, Miss Angie. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing well. Can't complain. Um. 
So we're talking uh, earlier about um, the war that we potentially had um, a while back, uh, how it just kind of oh, came to the news and then disappeared just like that. <laughs> um, okay. What, what did you feel about that time when uh, we were potentially going to war? You mean a week ago? Yes, a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, well, I, I think I felt a, a lot of different things. Care to elaborate? <laughs> Fear uh -huh. uh, that comes when you hear about going to war. Mm -hmm. um, fear for myself, fear for the safety of the soldiers. Um, and then I think as a political mind, I was a shocked. Every president does this. There's always some type of great tragedy and then a war because it is very unlike the people of the United States of America mm. to unseat a seating president in time of war, mm -hmm. regardless of what's happening, wow. including impeachment. Mm -hmm. um, there hasn't been a president except Jimmy Carter that did not do that. Right. Also, he only did one term. So. <laughs> <laughs> they got him up out of there real quick. <laughs> huh? Oh, I said they got him up out of there real quick, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't follow much of the American rules except, you know, the real Christian belief ones. <laughs> so, so I think I felt a lot of different things. I was angry because there's so much hypocrisy in our Constitution, and I hate saying that. Uh -huh. uh, like I said, as, as a political person, someone who studied law and then promised to uphold our Constitution itself, um, because it is not a living, breathing document, but it is stagnant, people choose to um, go against that. A, a president that is being impeached shouldn't have the possibility of sending us to war, but he does. Right. Wow. So I felt a lot of different things. Oh, did we lose it? No, she's there. So take take us down down the rabbit hole, if you will. You sound like a very intelligent young woman. Take us down the uh, the rabbit hole of the conspiracy that may be attached to that, and and you know the fear that it may be also attached to that with what's floating around with our with the war with Iran, possible other wars. You know the government being against the people. Anything you may be able to to elaborate on. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Wait, you said the the fear or the conspiracy attached with this current war in Iran. Or, or any that, that you're aware of. Uh, the, the, that was another topic, uh, subtopic on, on our podcast today, talking about the conspiracies that are also attached to our society due to wars and other, other different conspiracies that we have that are prevalent here. Okay. Um, well, I guess I should start by saying that as a professional debater, you know, they always tell you don't go into any ground without your notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't currently have any notes, but what I can say is that when we say conspiracy, that involves an element of fiction or fantasy. In my personal belief, there is no fiction or fantasy here. This is cold-blooded, I'm doing what I can to keep all the power that I can. Mm. Oh, wow. And it's evident. Mm. Um, I have to say, although I am not a fan of the current president and administration, right. um, that, like I said before, there hasn't been one that did not do it. Mm. So, it is very common, always common, sad, sad to say, but it is very common that any time new elections are coming up, there's going to be some kind of war, some kind of conflict. Now, only Congress, only acts of Congress can actually say a war. No matter what the president says, unless Congress delegates it as a war, it is always classified as a, as a conflict. Mm. Um, so, we have been in war with Iran. For almost 20 years. No <laughs> one wants to say that part. Because, um, oh, you're dropping knowledge other, bombs on them now. Uh, right. Talk to right. us. So there, there's, there's ways to get around war and conflict. So, like I said, Congress says, Congress says, I'm the only person that can say this is a war. However, when you reach a death poll of 40,000 or more, the Constitution states it's a war. Oh, wow. So here we are here we again are. with this this non living, breathing constitution that is affecting billions of people for <laughs> years to come. Man, <laughs> man. And we're so saying many years ago. my cousin, my uncle, my brother, my friend, they in war. <laughs> and they saying, Well, it's not really a war, we're just having a conflict, we're just occupying, 
<laughs> these places. Oh, wow. Well, any time a foreign, a, a foreign country occupies another country wow. by force, it is war. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. We hate to we hate to cut you off, but we got to wrap it up. Any any last thoughts? Yeah, I I guess I I could say to the people of America, you know, it, it's fashionable to stay woke right now, but forget about fashion and start to think about your life. Mm. This is important. It is it is at home. It, if you haven't noticed, there is war in our streets. Mm -hmm. There's more than fifty fifty thousand American prisoners over wow. simple simple problems like right. DUIs yeah. and weed right. that's still not federally, federally regulated, right. but wow. it's taxed. Come on, people. We appreciate Literally, you. Yes, yes, we definitely appreciate you. Christmas we appreciate Angie. you. Appreciate you. Stay on the line. We'll give you a T-shirt. All right. There we go. That was uh, Miss Angie <laughs> on the line right there. Um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty deep. That was real deep. We only had uh, time for one caller today, but um, I feel like next podcast, I feel like we should go ahead and do it. I think we should go ahead and do fatherhood next podcast. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Fatherhood. I want to get it there. Okay. I got a bunch of babies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's going to be deep. That's going to be like a three-hour conversation. Might be, because you know what I'm saying? I think we should go ahead and just knock it out. Fatherhood. Definitely. Sounds like there the plan to me. Definitely. So like the next week I say we do fatherhood. My niggas. With my niggas. My niggas. Yes, with attitude. With attitude. Absolutely. Like I said, my name is I go by the name Amigo. Once again, you can follow me on Instagram at Migo underscore the underscore kid. Get him. Twitter, this big two G's underscore Migo. Get him, big yes, Migo. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. And then you got Josh Payne or Mr. Original on Instagram. It's MR period. Original with the J instead the J. of the G. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Mr. Original. 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 You, know, you can't kill right kindness there. with kindness, folks. Can't do that. Uh, yeah, it's me. It's Tim Dance. It's your boy. Uh, the No Social Media Having Self Guy. <laughs> I'm coming. Next episode, I promise you I will have it. Uh, Y'all can call me uh, the everything man for right now. And uh, always much love. Much love. love. We signing out. Niggas, we out. We out. <laughs>